have a girl lash blast. It's orange. Oh yeah. And it it has that wand that's like not a regular wand. It has like the it's not it's got like bristles coming. It, it's not bristles. It's like little plastic no, nibs mm -hmm. almost. I don't know. It's hard to describe. I like that, but I feel like every time I get another mascara to try, I feel like it just has the same effect. But I'll have to try that lengthening one because I kind of wanna. Yeah, the telescopic lift has a really cool brush. It has one side, like the wide side is for kind of the volumizing, and then it has longer comb bits on the side to give you lift and lengthening. Yeah, see, it's um, it's a learning curve. I'm looking um, at this lash wand, and it looks similar to the one that I have, but the things aren't as long and skinny they're shorter and nubbier yeah 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 <laughs> I do I do like their regular telescopic mascara too however that wand uh -huh. really hurts when you jab yourself in the eye oh shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> hello and welcome to the mini show <laughs> where <laughs> we spend just a few minutes each evening to discuss an episode of a show we're watching together Yes. Or we're supposed to be watching together, everybody. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everybody. Everybody listening, guys. We should all be listening to this. We're all in this together. And uh, shoot shoot the general shit. If there's breaking horror news, we try to talk about it. I'm supposed to be the one on the TikTok keeping up with that. I don't think there's been any like horror drama this week, shockingly. I will uh -huh. say I did see one thing that I know that tomorrow a trailer is going to drop for a horror movie that's coming out called Strange Darling. Ooh. Um, with uh the yeah, I forget his name, but he's that emo kid who was in Jennifer's body. He's in all kinds of horror movies. Um, not he's, Adam Brody. No, but he yeah. doesn't look. I, I like know who you're talking about. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know who you're talking about in Jennifer's body. I just yeah. can't think of his name. So cute. He, but he's in like a bunch of horror movies. He's like a horror guy. Yeah. Oh, there is like horror news. Um, Kyle something. A A24 is releasing yeah. a horror movie called Y2K. And oh. um, so that'll be interesting um a certain movie that exists that mm -hmm. i don't want to disparage on the podcast until some things are wrapped up eventually yeah. um, it's like <laughs> see we it's good to be ahead of the curve we talked on set about how the next nostalgia wave is gonna be y2k and i'm like i mean Dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I also said that and why I said <laughs> why I set the play you did. um on Y2K. But I'm sure anybody with a literal brain after <laughs> after the success of Stranger Things knows that the next big nostalgia push is going nice. to be yeah, um late nineties, Y two K, early two thousands. Yeah. Because that is the next like kind of generation of filmmakers is people our age who aren't nostalgic for the 80s they're nostalgic for 1996 to 2007 seven yeah and then just look around you at the clothes man like yeah. for real it's all coming yeah. back mm -hmm. for sure fucking i think fucking jeffrey campbell is about to come back do you remember those oh, platform booties yes i i Maybe I, I still, should get one, get some. I still want my alt girl heart yeah. still yearns for the spiky, spiky Lita's. Yeah, the Lita's. Um, but well, you know, I did, was able to get a pair of those really long converse, like the knee high converse. Yeah. So that's one step in the right direction here. I feel like those are coming back. I feel like they're back on, on TikTok a lot. I, I see a lot of the um, scene kid, MySpace aesthetic yeah being really popular again yes yes and, um apparently so popular that alex evans is still being used to catfish people <laughs> dude what is alex evans do you not know were you never catfished by an alex evans no i don't think so he's like oh my god 
How am I teaching you emo history right now? Yeah, no, what's that? Alex Evans. I don't want his new face. His new face isn't like what we love. Alex Evans emo. Oh, this person? Oh, like catfish by a fake dude that looks like this. Oh, is he like the uh like poster child for emo boy? Yeah. With like blue eyes. Okay, yeah. So I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm sure he's like a real person then. Yeah, he's a real person. Huh. He's no longer emo. It's no longer um, emo, okay. For him, it was just a phase. Oh, I see. But yeah, okay. back in the MySpace era, he was like, Dude, everybody yes. used his picture to catfish. Okay, yes. Yeah. So there, so yeah, I know catfishing, but we did, we like did girl catfishing <laughs> and made fake girl profiles. Oh yeah. Uh, with like whatever cool girl had the raccoon striped hair and, and stuff, you know? Yeah, but never boys. But yeah, Alex Evans. Uh, yeah, good, photography. Good. Oh yeah, he's a photographer now. I know that much. Um, there's Whoa, he looks way different. Yeah, there is a there's a TikToker I've stumbled upon in my endless doom scrolling. Um, that does like where are they now for all the famous emo models of the myspace era yeah and for some of them it was just a phase and for many of them they're still alt so yes stay strong yeah like even for like me and you i feel like our emo phase has like for the most part passed but Mm -hmm. we are still alternative people even we're if still... we don't dress like it every day at work, man. Like yeah, we're still we are we're still, still in alt spaces. We are, yeah. You know, so and I feel like people, even if we don't dress it, like they can kind of tell yeah. in other ways. We just it's sense. it's a vibe. It is a vibe. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's like, speaking I, yeah. speaking of alt lifestyles, like, we were in Silver, North Carolina this past weekend for yes. one of my short plays opening. Hell yeah. Um, which was awesome. All four sh- performances were sold out. <laughs> it was awesome. a wonderful short festival and something I wasn't expecting. In my short play that I wrote with the wonderful Brooke Aaron Smith, um, we have a part where the two characters are, they're cooking in a kitchen together, reminiscing about the younger character's grandmother. And she says, oh, your grandma used to always sing in the kitchen. So they start singing, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And the audience sang along and it was really oh, sweet. That's cool. Yeah. But the next morning we went to get breakfast before heading out of town. And I saw a true straight out of the 80s punk. Whoa, in cool. Silva, North Carolina. Dude, you never know. You, you like, literally it just, never know. Like Silva is a very cute town. It is very hippy dippy. It is very, mm. very trendy, very cute. I love it. We're going to go back. Nice. But there is a punk there. He just there, resides there. Yeah, we got out of the car and he was just sitting in the corner of the tiki bar <laughs> texting on his phone. And I was like, like when are we? <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> right. But like fucking Matthew Lillard in SLC Punk, that that was who was sitting there. And that's amazing. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Anyway, oh, um cool. So haunting of hill house before we drag this on to oh uh, yeah yeah because i was about to sit here and be like anyway let's talk about more horror movies coming out <laughs> no, yeah let's please let's talk about what i just watched oh wait before yeah. hill house yeah yeah very important very important alt emo yes. news emo news yeah that just popped in my head um paramore opened for one of the taylor swift um nights in london this ah, weekend that's cool. and suki waterhouse was the local opening at because on the european and um south american and asian portions of her tour she has two openers um oh, yeah. one up and coming like one big artist and then one local like yeah, famous in that country smart. artist that's cool. so suki waterhouse was also an opener that night so robert pattinson was in the audience whoa and Is you know what like Ms. his spouse yeah that's his that's his baby mama Ooh, okay um, cool and guess what miss Haley williams did what oh did she play the twilight did she play the twilight zone she did and she, she dedicated oh. it to him <laughs> that's wild they'll probably never happen again ever it, in our lives she never. said uh, this song is dedicated to mr waterhouse 
He has the skin of a killer Bella. Skin of a killer Bella. <laughs> I love it. I haven't been able to find a video of his reaction, but I feel like the universe has healed in some way that Paramore yes. was able to perform to code and dedicate it to Robert Pattinson. That's amazing. I see that Suki Waterhouse is an English singer and songwriter and mother and then also an actress. Yeah, she was in Daisy Jones and the Six. Ah, oh, sweet. Well, she looks and very... she's fucking gorgeous. Yeah, and she's beautiful. And she's the same age as me. But older. Actually, no, I'm older. Wait, fuck. Um, <laughs> no, she's older by a couple months. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. No, um, is... Hill House episode four. This one is a sad one. It is very sad. Yes. So uh, we get to delve in to this is Luke's episode. Yep. Luke, little Lucas, who is so cute in the past. He's probably the cutest kid I actor know. I have ever Don't you seen. I think he's so cute with his glasses and it's his just... little, like, little way he talks. Yeah, he's, he's so fucking cute. Oh, and he's he's playing with what yeah. we can only assume is a ghost named <laughs> Abigail. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> And no one in his family believes that she's real. And they also don't believe that he was attacked in the basement by a scary man. Dude, he keeps getting, like, attacked by the ghosts. <laughs> and nobody yeah. cares. And that's why he's so fucked up. Yeah. So we God. see, we see really, I mean, I guess Nell has the worst, had the worst trauma. Um, yeah. yeah. Regarding the Hill House because she did yeah. allegedly kill herself. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly. <laughs> but we see how trauma how trauma led Luke to seek comfort in drugs and alcohol. Yes. And um in the present, he is 90 days sober. He is in a rehab facility that Nell dropped him off at because yeah. they have a special connection. They're twins. It's a twin thing. They keep repeating throughout the episode is that they have like they've always had kind of like this psychic connection and yeah they feel the when the other is hurting yeah like and, physically or mentally or emotionally yeah so he he's the one who is actually the first one actually visited by the ghost of nell in the mm -hmm. middle of the night yeah. and he wakes up finds out his best friend in the rehab facility has left um mm -hmm. probably to relapse which we gather because she was having a hard time the night before. Yeah. And he goes after her, immediately calls Nell on a payphone because uh, it's the kind of rehab facility where you can't really have contact with the outside world for an extended period of time to yeah. cut ties with any enablers. Right. Yes, absolutely. And he's like, Nell, please call me if you get this. I'm worried about you yes yeah and he finds his friend they go to what he thinks is still his brother's house to ask for a place to stay the wife says no he doesn't live here anymore i can't help you i'm not going to give you money for a hotel you've done this so many times before <laughs> bye uh, like, so, <laughs> so she gives him the brother's new address he goes there steals an ipad which we saw in the first episode yeah but now we but have he's... context yeah, but he's like, no, take this, like, 200 bucks instead, because I just carry, like, hundos on me. I'm a famous author. I have, <laughs> I just toss around hundos. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, context, we do, we do. Uh, so <laughs> they struggle to find a place to stay until um, eventually it's revealed that I think Joey's a ghost, right? She's She died. Whoa, what? Maybe she's not. What the Maybe fuck? She Does just that really... happen later? Like, no, towards the not. end of the episode, before, like, morning, before he yeah. finds out that Nell's dead, didn't, yeah. doesn't she, like, disappear after she kisses him? Yeah, she steals his money to go get more drugs. Okay, I, I, I watched that and assumed that she disappeared and she was dead. <laughs> I mean, this show will do that to you, though, because you're like, hmm, is it a ghost, though? <laughs> um no nah, i think she really uh just like wants to not get better some of them just don't that's true it i mean recovery is not a straight path it's 
you're gonna fall yeah. off the wagon it's it's fine exactly it's as long as you everybody. keep trying yeah just keep trying and she does describe that in like a flashback as well yeah oh that takes a couple but, times um of course luke finding out the death of nell is he's gonna be the most affected by her death because yeah. it's a twin thing he was feeling the physical manifestations of like how death might feel because he was like i'm cold and my like body is like stiff and i just need mm-hmm. to lay down but like i didn't use it but it feels like withdrawal so i'm just like that's because she's dead and you're feeling her dead like you're feeling death yeah <laughs> it was wild and also uh, it's pretty clear that the twins have a much stronger connection to the hill house than yeah the other yeah, they do. family members yeah because they they're able to just like see and communicate with like any ghost it seems like or like if a bad ghost comes they see it firsthand but the others don't maybe it's because they're older or maybe it's because the twins are more special because of their psychic connection i'm not sure yeah it could it could just be that they're twins or they're the youngest or Uh, both but in the flashbacks it seems like the ghosts are most intrigued by the twins like we see little hauntings happen to everyone but the twins yeah. are definitely fucking more wild targeted. and crazy yeah yeah they're they're they have a connection and they definitely see the ghosts outside of the house like the ghosts follow them <laughs> yeah um because luke sees the uh floating guy oh my god that whenever i first watched this and i saw that i was like that really actually like (laughs) freaked me out a lot i don't like him he yeah he has a very unsettling animation very scary it's scary that he's so big and floats around and just what he was looking for his hat isn't that so wild yeah gosh god that's so so scary yeah that scared me but yeah, so truth, and then all that happened, and then by the end of the episode, we see that uh, they they do tell Luke that she is dead, and he goes to get picked up by brother Stephen. Yep, Stephen Creek. Um, Good old yeah. Steve. Steve, and then the the nothing else really happens. Um, oh, there is like a foreshadowing moment. <clears throat> and spoiler alert, I'm not not really a spoiler, but like whenever they're young and the mom is in like that room with the spiral staircase and she's talking to the husband, she's like, um, that's an accident waiting to happen. And it's like a bunch of ropes <laughs> just straight yeah. up hanging down from the very top of the staircase. She's like, she's like body swinging right there. And I'm like, whoa, that's wild to say. <laughs> um yeah so that is foreshadowing for upcoming events maybe but yeah wild shit and then she has that psychic thing where she's like i had deja vu let me describe to you something i actually just envisioned right now and i'm like that's not deja vu dude (laughs) like deja vu is like seeing having something happen to you yeah and like feeling it again not like seeing (laughs) like seeing a vision oh man everybody is insane yeah um but yeah i don't think anything else happened he just wasn't yeah. rehab the whole time yeah so now we have all of the siblings except nell's backstory excuse the me backstory episode, yeah the next one is hers called the bent neck lady Ooh, the and bent if it's the neck one lady. i think it is it's freaking nuts yeah <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and <laughs> pick us? our next movie. Oh yeah, what is next? What have we been talking about? I don't remember. Um, I have what stop motion it? pulled up. Oh, the stop motion thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, which was getting a little bit of hype on the horror talk on the on the horror sphere, sphere. within within our community (laughs) um stop motion a 2024 horror movie 94 minutes a nice length uh ella blake is a stop motion animator who is struggling to control her demons after the loss of her overbearing mother suddenly alone in the world she embarks upon the creation of a macabre new puppet film uh which soon becomes the battleground for her sanity as Ella's mind starts to fracture, the characters in her animated film take on 
a terrifying life of their own and unleash power and the unleashed power of her imagination threatens to destroy her. Jesus, this looks scary. Yeah, I've I've seen little clips and I think stop motion is ripe for horror. God. And it has um I'm not gonna be able to say her name. Uh fuck. Let's see. Aisling friend um the girl from It Follows. Oh, um, right. Yeah, Aisling Franz. Uh, Franz Aisling. Irish. Oh, oh, oh. A- yeah, Aisling. Aisling. I don't know. Can we make Wait, Wikipedia which... say it? <laughs> Not yet. I think we've talked about it. Damn it. Um... <laughs> or maybe she's no. She's she's from the Nightingale. She was in the Nightingale. I thought she was in oh, It Follows. Yeah, and I was like, oh, It Follows. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I just like believed. You. I was like, yep, that is it. Her. I, I Dude, the It was... Follows girl's very beautiful too. It's yeah. Follows. Oh, uh, but anyway, she she was the lead character in the Nightingale, and she's also the lead character in Long Legs, the new Nicolas Cage oh, yeah. horror movie. Long leg is she is is she are you sure i think so or maybe I, she's no you're wrong dude i'm wrong oh god yeah they look it's so similar just, it's speak no evil is the new thing she's oh, in they look so similar do they okay who's in the wrong legs? i feel like they look so similar I'm just going off of faces. No, it is Micah Micah Monroe. Micah Monroe. You you confuse the two correctly already, and so that's okay okay to have the same confusion because it was the same woman. If it was a third woman, I'd be like, They have very similar (laughs) jawlines. They do. It helps because this girl's blonde, and the other one Mm -hmm. is not, so I guess that's the only way we can tell. And very similar shaped lips, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So forgive me. Forgive me. It's okay. I I at least recognized her. When they look, yeah, yeah, because if I look at them side by side, here, let me duplicate this tab and then look up <laughs> Aisling, Aisling, Francoise, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here, if I look at this picture and this picture. Their faces have similar vibes. They do. Could just be a horror girl thing. Horror girly. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of this and show you that like you're fine. <laughs> I chose like really similar pictures of them too. Hang on, take a picture. Not myself, not a selfie. Oh shit, she was also Lyanna Stark in Game of Thrones. Which one was that? Uh, in the flashbacks where we find out um, Jon Snow's origin. Oh. so like liana wasn't really like in it yeah okay (laughs) cool yeah Yeah, they've got they both got those like deep dude see dark eyes in the pouty lips just the same just different color hair yeah that's it and micah is a brunette in long legs so oh well that's extra confusing yeah Yeah. oh yeah yeah, that would be extra confusing i'd be like oh (laughs) <laughs> like oh yeah that that's her that's her, that's and I, her. I, I i also I, knew that uh micah is a weird name and aisling's a it is. different name so you know what that's okay because like they do look so so similar it's cool yeah. girl it's cool girl they're both cool and they're both in yeah these scary they're they're both horror girls yeah scary horror movies all right so i'm really nervous about watching stop motion i'll tell you why because i remember whenever i was living in alexandria and this is when i met you and this was like 2014 15 or something like that and i still had like facebook i guess Mm -hmm. and then like sometimes on facebook there would be these like wild fucking like stop motion animation like videos and they were like super fucking disturbing do you like oh. have any recollection of ever seeing anything like that during grad school years? I don't think so. Media? I can't. I, and it didn't happen that often, but I recall specifically, I feel like I came across at least two or three and I never came across them before or since and only it, like those years. And they were like, and the, I like think about it sometimes. I kind of forget what happened, but like, 
it was just like weird, creepy stuff. And then the music was creepy and I just like felt unsettled. And so I'm just, like, this movie is going to make me feel scared because I'm looking at the images of the little stop motion things and they're so freaky looking like Jesus, like oh, melted good. faces. That's shit. the point of but horror movies. Yeah, that's cool because I kind of forgot that this stuff like did like make me feel freaked out. Because yeah. it's like, no, everything's fine. So thanks, Sam. Because I like sometimes I'm sitting here like, oh, nothing scares me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I think stop motion <laughs> is a very good like choice for a yeah. creepy movie because oh, a lot yeah. of people are just creeped out by stop motion. I'm not one of those people. I love Rudolph. Um, but <laughs> I do get dude. <laughs> I do get why it would be unsettling. This is like scary on purpose though man so like yeah. maybe you'll feel a little feel weird but um I like don't don't like it at all and yeah like stop motion like animated movies that are supposed to be like family movies like I can deal with that kind of thing but it's like this weird shit that's like just just bizarre and strange and like no excuse me no like real real meaning just like weird shit yeah so we'll see We'll see. How do I take that? This is on Shutter, right? Yes. Is it? Yep. Shutter. It is a Shutter original. Ooh, a Shutter original. So excellent. So I'll watch this for this week. I'm gonna freak myself out and, and scare <laughs> myself um, on next Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right wow 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 cool all right is there any is there any other like horror movies coming out this week that you're gonna see or anything Um, this weekend not this weekend because we have a baptism we need to go to okay but that's fine because actually no the oh fuck that's right oh yeah what uh this weekend coming out Oh, is man. the crow remake with uh bill skarsgård that's right bill skarsgård dude which i thought the trailer looked really good i get oh me too why people really think good. the crow is untouchable because of brandon lee dude i never saw um, the original what <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um oh alien just came out yeah oh shit aliens just came out oh god i'm gonna <laughs> fall so far behind with all this travel um blink twice is a horror movie starring channing tatum that i'm Ooh, intrigued by oh cool. I, I didn't realize Haley joel osman was in it oh interesting he's gonna look all oh dude gina davis hello christian slater oh my god hello kyle mclaughlin all these fucking horror people dude you definitely so have to i'm gonna have to out. try and find time to see that dude the director is zoe kravitz Ooh. oh my god she wants to do horror nice <laughs> everything about this is just looking better and better this for me. is cool i know so you gotta go to and have a triple feature blink twice I'm, the crow and then alien i'm gonna have to but um i thought <laughs> the trailer for the crow looked really good i get you know the original crow being was super gritty and this one kind of feels like i'm edgy but i'm also <laughs> sleek um i don't know i i like bill Skarsgård, so i think too that's gonna he'll be great he's like he's an icon right now and he's like keeping he's like still he's keeping it up so that's excellent and so we'd love to see it um maybe you and i should watch the crow original once for shits and gigs um because i've never seen it it's been years since i've seen it the crow 1994 yeah. I do know about what happened with the, the man, the actor, mm-hmm. uh, the same kind of thing that happened with um, recently with uh, that one dude that like shot that girl on set yeah. with a gun, the prop gun. Yeah, Alec Baldwin, prop yeah, gun. Yeah, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. Not having prop bullets in it. Jesus. I, and so. it happened to him. He got, so someone else shot him and he died. Yeah. Is that, is that what happened? And it happened like in the middle of filming. So. Oh. It's pretty, the cut, from my memory of The Crow, it's very rough. Okay. Because I think he died before the film was finished, so they had to work around his death. Yeah. And um, so, like, just editing-wise, it's a little rough from my memory. Okay. Gotcha. I'm reading the storyline right now. It's about a poetic guitarist named Eric Draven. 
almost like Raven, but with a D, <laughs> but he's brought back to life by a crow. <laughs> Very yeah. interesting. But yeah, that is all I have this all week. Right. Yep. That is it for me as well. I will uh, watch this, the scary movie that's going to yes. make me feel unsettled for the rest of the week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to watch, I'm, I'm going to watch like right before we talk. Just like yeah. last time. Just if like, I if I'm expected to sit through Terrifier three in a couple of months. Oh God. Are you gonna go see it? Are you gonna go see it in theaters? I'm not gonna see it in theaters. I, I want the option to stop watching. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Is it coming out for like Christmas or something? Yeah, it's gonna be a Christmas movie. Oh Jesus Christ. You yeah. know what? I I like I'm with you still because I feel like you and I discussed this very briefly, but we both came to the same conclusion that we're like not not into it anymore <laughs> i just it's icky it's, i'm kind of dreading it man Ugh. it's slimy i don't like the gore anyway that's all i have for this all week. right anyway enough <laughs> enough talking enough, oh, enough. God. All right. enough. okay enough. anyway we'll take care of that business when it gets here for christmas which is right around the corner anyway which yep. is wild so anyway let's now I'm going to be sad for the rest of the evening because I'm going to yeah. away. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, that's all I've got. So we'll see you guys next week. So watch Stop Motion if you've got Shudder and we'll talk about it next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I love it.